Meanwhile, dozens of victims of the Golden State Killer confronted their attacker during an emotional hearing today. Former police officer Joseph D'Angelo Jr. admitted to killing 13 people and sexually assaulting dozens of women in a series of attacks across California that spanned more than a decade. As each victim and their families spoke, D'Angelo stared straight ahead, keeping his eyes fixed on the wall across from him. The impact of the heinous acts that she suffered has affected Phyllis her whole life. The PTSD she suffers from it has definitely adversely affected her health. Listening to the description of what was done to all the victims and waiting for him to say guilty or I admit really brought home all the horrific suffering he caused. I sat at Phyllis's home and cried. It is unconceivable that such a creature exists in this world. May he rot in hell. D'Angelo may have stolen our mother's wedding ring, her jewelry, and $250 in donation monies I had collected intended for the American Cancer Society. But he did not steal our hopes, dreams, and the spirit of our family. And victims will continue to confront D'Angelo for the next three days before a judge formally sentences him to life in prison without parole on Friday.